Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. My name is Jia. I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to share with you some exciting insights and practices in the world of Python. Today, I'm going to introduce the topic of building a Python sandbox for dynamic rule execution. Our session will uncover not just the theoretical underpinnings, but also practical technologies and codes. So let's get started. Before we dive into today's topic, I'd like to give you a brief overview of our agenda so you will know what to expect from our session. We will begin by defining the case concepts behind the rule execution and sandboxing. <clears throat> Understanding these fundamentals is crucial for the subsequent content. We will discuss the advantages and potential drawbacks between Docker, virtual machines, and customized solutions. This will help us know why we implement a Python sandbox over using other solutions. Then we will transition into practices. This section is divided into three crucial components, isolation, security, and performance. Let's talk about the context first. Image a world where decisions are made efficiently and constantly. That's the realm we enter with the rule engine. As a heard of this engine, they are the business logics that dictate how our system behaves in various scenarios. As a powerful and easy to use language, Python is one of the best options to describe basic logics in a rule engine. <clears throat> Moving on to the rule engine itself, it ensures that all the rules are followed to the letter, executed in Python interpreter. We, we can assume that without isolation, rules for different purposes may influence each other which cause unexpected behaviors without control, capable of actions that may go beyond our intentions, potentially affecting the engine's stability and security. As we start the journey to create a sandbox, we must address the elephant in the room. Why not using established solutions like virtual machines or Docker? Virtual machines are like separate entities, each with its own operating system running in isolation on top of the host OS. They offer a high level of security due to this isolation, but at the cost of performance and resource consumption. On the other hand, Docker has revolutionized the concept of containerization. <clears throat> Containers are more lightweight compared to VMs, sharing the host OS kernel, allowing for uh, processes and uh, execution isolation. This makes Docker an attractive option for many scenarios. When it comes to our rule engine, the balance of performance and the resource consumption takes center stage. Our root engine needs to execute numerous small tasks at a high frequency. The startup time of a virtual machine or even a Docker container can introduce huge latency. That's unacceptable for our use case. Moreover, the resource overhead, while smaller with Docker, is still significant when we talk about the scale at which our engine operates. <clears throat> this brings us to our customized uh, solution. We have crafted a sandbox that is tailored to the unique demands of our engine. Our sandbox is designed to be isolated, secure, and with high performance. Isolation is the first pillar in our sandbox. 
restricting access to hardware resources, ensuring that the sandbox processes cannot use excessive resources, unexpectable network behaviors, or unauthorized operations. But that's not all. Our sandbox offers extensive customization option, options. We understand that one size doesn't fit all, and so resource limits and security policies can be tailored to fit the specific rule for different business scenarios. Moving to the next pillar, security, our prime directives directive is to uh, prevent the execution of malicious code. The sandbox is designed to detect threats before they can cause harm. The block list mechanism is in place to control usage over Python modules and functions. We use error handling to ensure that unexpected code behaviors do not escalate to, uh, into system crashes. <clears throat> Finally, we arrive at the performance pillar. Our sandbox is engineered to handle massive requests with ease. It's built to withstand the high throughput demands of our Ruru engine. Low latency is the highlight of our solution. When talking about isolation, we have to satisfy three key points. The first is limiting resource usage. As you can see through the screenshot on slides, we use the building package, Python package resource to achieve this goal. The underlying of resource is <coughs> the setter limit API in Linux kernel, <coughs> which can be used to specify particular system resources and to request usage information about either uh, the current process or its children. As you can see, with resource package, we can easily control the CPU time, memory usage, stack, even the file system quota. <clears throat> it uh, almost prevents all possible effects to system stability that can be caused by user defense rules. Moreover, the limitation can be applied and changed in real time. This means that each rule execution can be functioned based on its specific needs and the context of its invocation. Our sandbox can dynamically adjust the resource allocations and the security mirror, uh, mirrors for different cases processing the same or in the different rules. This adaptive approach allows us to maximize resource utilization efficiency while maintaining strict security policies. Our sandbox implements strict controls on the execution time of each process. By monitoring and managing running time, we prevent logics like dead loop and ensure that all operations complete within their allotted time frames, maintaining a smooth and predictable performance. Let's talk about security. To secure rule execution, our sandbox that leverages the power of AIST analysis combined with a block list to filter out potential malicious code at both the module and uh, function level. <clears throat> Resource usage and system call limita limitations are reactive. They come into play during execution. However, our AIST based analysis represents a proactive approach. By analyzing the code structure and its semantics, we can identify and block malicious patterns before they are running. Python provides a building package called AIST, which provides capabilities to traverse and analysis, analyze grammar tree. By using this package, we can easily find out which packages are imported to the scope and which functions are used in user rules. 
Combined with the block list, we can block malicious code without running them. With malicious code prevention, we can save resources and prevent potential damage to the system or the network, which might be uh, irreversible, even with the strictest uh, execution control. In the sandbox environment, we also strike a balance between transparency for the user and the stability for the service. Error collection plays a pivotal role in this balance. We take le, let's take a closer look at uh, how we capture and display errors from our user user rules while simultaneously shielding our system from potential crashes. <clears throat> well, rules run in our sandbox, it's isolated from the core of our service. This means that any errors within rules won't escalate to affect the uh, service itself. As you can see through the screenshot, when we encounter an error, our sandbox doesn't simply shut down in silence. Instead, to help user has enough information to detect which part is wrong, the sandbox will try to print out uh, traceback information, then return them to users for further investigation. Now let's talk about performance. Achieving isolation in a sandbox environment, especially for high volume request scenarios, presents uh, a set of unique challenges. <clears throat> in the initial design, we considered the approach of spawning a new sandbox, pro uh, sandbox process for every incoming request. This provides unparalleled isolation in ensuring that each rule is executed in a completely separate environment. However, this method introduces a significant time consumption for each request. Because the Python interpreter needs to import the necessary packages for each new process, which leads to disk I/O saturation when dealing with a high number of requests. We found that with only 20 to 30 requests per second, the sandbox will exhaust the disk bandwidth and the time consumption for each request will increase from few milliseconds to hundreds of milliseconds or even several seconds. We guess here is the disk risk. When mouse rules use similar Python packages in, in an experiment shown on the <coughs> slides, we reproduce this situation. As you can see, we use a rule which only imports package requests when having uh, 16 processes in a machine with 8 CPU cores. The execution time increased to uh, 300 milliseconds. Usually, executing a rule only costs uh, several milliseconds, so the huge time consumption in the uh, preparing stage is obviously unacceptable. <clears throat> to tackle this performance issue, we established a Python interpreter pool for interpreter reuse. And also, we preloaded common libraries upon interpreter startup. So the Python interpreter will not try to import libraries existing in memory when executing further rules. Eliminates this grid significantly speeding up request handling and reducing uh, library import time to almost zero, effectively optimizing system performance and response time. <coughs> In conclusion, our Python sandbox for dynamic rule execution offers a robust and secure environment for running user-defined rules. It uh, represents a significant step forward in both flexibility and security for rule execution. We hope this invocation will empower users to achieve more with our platform. Thank you for joining this technical session.